Hi, this is Rob with Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to show you how to weld galvanized material, mild steel, and uh, we're going to TIG weld it, and I'll show you what it looks like before and after, and uh, we'll get this stuff set up on the table, get my machine going on, and it's really, really easy, and especially for uh, you beginner welders, this is a good thing to remember. It'll help you run your beads and you don't fight any of the welds. Okay, what I got here is just some regular two and a half inch galvanized pipe. And then I got a piece of a fence cap. Okay, and this is always like cyclone fence and stuff like that. And that's galvanized also. And I just, I cut it out a little bit so we can fit it on here. But first what I'm gonna show you is what it looks like when you're welding over the galvanized and how smoky and, and cloudy it can get. And so I'm just using a standard steel rod. Let me just run a little bit. You can see how it's, it's kind of like, you hear it burning and popping. It'll get milky and you get porosity. See how dirty that gets and what it want to do, it'll the, the uh, puddle will want to jump up to your tungsten. So that's not a good thing. Then you get the porosity and stuff like that. So, like I was saying, the best way to get rid of that problem is you take your little grinder and get rid of that problem. So you're back on your bare metal. Because you figure when you're welding anyway, you're burning away that zinc oxide coating from the galvanizing. Then you take your other little pup piece. You got that cleaned off. Remember, you got to have good ventilation no matter what you're welding, but especially galvanized. Let me tack this on here. Still get a little bit. still smoke up on you but if you look you're getting a better color. Now I have to be a little careful because it did pop up on me so I got to change my tungsten out right quick. I'm gonna extend my tungsten out a little bit. Let me put a screen on the camera and then you guys can see the the weld actually is, it's going on. See now if you look, you don't have the porosity here. I still have a little bit of popping from the galvanized, but it's a lot cleaner weld. There you go. Now we'll try this side without the lens. See how it pops like that? This side I didn't clean up as much. You can even hear it. It'll still weld, but you gotta watch out. You get tired of getting that popping onto your tungsten. It just gets to be a pain in the butt. See this one I didn't clean up as much so you'll see the difference. See you get that much more smoke and see how it popped and it burnt through right there. So it's better you keep everything nice and clean. Get that galvanizing off of there. And then after it's welded you, you grind it down a little bit 
you get that cold galvanized spray if you need to or paint and go right over that weld. Well that was pretty easy. So you can see how it's nice and clean threw it up in here but on this side it popped on me you can see you get that hole and then you don't want to be fighting it like that so just take your grinder and like I said just grind that stuff off there and uh, but you still watch out for the ventilation I mean that's a big thing this stuff here is no joke and um, I'm Rob and thanks for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab